Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Tonight, I wanted to do a super cool project with a deal I got from Dollar General. So the first thing, look at this cute little jar. I got this for a dollar at a Dollar General, and I took all of the pieces parts out. Then I also found some napkins at Dollar General, and I'm only using certain parts of them. So I cut out um, the part that I wanted and tore off, you know, I kind of tore the edges and then this other one um, I just cut just the parts that I wanted which were the stars and um, part of the white in the stars for the other part and again all of these I'm getting down to one ply then I put some regular Mod Podge on my jar and then I start adding the little napkin parts that I wanted which I wanted the glass to look kind of smoky, so that's why I'm using the white part of the napkin. And then I just put um, a little more Mod Podge on the edge just to kind of um, adhere it a little bit more so we can get the rest of our napkins on. Um, and then I put a little bit more Mod Podge on the glass, and then I add another part of our um, napkin. And again, I'm not being super fussy about it because you know I like that primitive vibe, but if you don't, then just be a little bit mindful about you know your lines and how they're lining up and all of that stuff um, and then you just again press down make sure that we have it adhered um, and there are seams so I'm going to fix those seams by using other parts of the napkins that we cut out um, right now I'm just putting more Mod Podge on and kind of just adhering the two pieces that I have on there just to see where it's going to lay and where I need to put the other pieces parts um, so far, so good, though. I'm, I'm liking it. So see that seam? So I had those little stars, so I just cut a strip, and I just added it to there. And again, this is the great thing about the primitive vibe. You can kind of fix a whole lot of things. Um, and then that part of the um, napkin that says, oh, my stars that I, that I tore out, I'm going to put that on the bottom. And again, I'm going to add some more Mod Podge to the top of that. I'm actually going to put Mod Podge on the entirety of the jar once all of the pieces parts are on, but right now I'm just adhering it just so that it stays in place so I can put um, the other pieces on. And again, there's more of a seam, and I don't know why, it just bothered me that there was a seam there, <laughs> so I put another little um, section with just stars and um, made sure that it was nice and straight and just Mod Podged it down. Napkins are so forgiving, I love it there's that and then once it was all dry I did a dry brush um, with some black paint friends it looks like like soot almost which I am there for it I love it I think it looks so cool again though if this isn't your vibe then don't do this part but man I am loving it um, and then you let that dry really well obviously you're gonna make sure that you're gonna put a good layer of Mod Podge over the entirety so that it is sealed um, and these little things come with little it's in a little insert and you can put a real candle in it but I and, oh and I put the the bow back on because it's just too cute not to but I put the uh, fake little um, candle in it and that was it friends I hope you enjoyed this have a great night and thanks for watching